This is my small rig phone mount. My name's David and this is my review. So I much prefer to use my cell phone over my DSLR because I feel like it's easier to upload video and I feel like the video coming right out of my camera is so much better on my phone versus the DSLR where I have to do all this setup and change all these settings and everything. But because of that, I really needed the ability to add different attachments to my phone, whether it be like lighting or in my particular case, audio, which I kind of had a weak spot in my phone. And actually you're hearing me from my phone's audio right now. And I apologize for that. With this particular small rig, the outer frame is a solid piece of aluminum. And this is really nice because this frame is rock solid. One thing that is movable is this mount here. And that's actually a good thing for me in particular because I have a Pixel Pro, which is a very large phone. So one thing that's good about that is I'm able to move the mount back a little bit so that it's able to fit the phone more centered in here. And then I don't have to worry about the buttons being pressed down by my um, little vise here when I go to secure my phone. On the long side of the small rig, you have two cold shoe mounts at the top and the bottom if you're shooting horizontally of the small rig. In particular, I use this to add my audio devices. Like here I have my stand for my mic, which I can use to um, attach my microphone. In addition to the cold shoe, we also have the standard quarter 20 mounting positions here. And we have three on either side of the small rig, along with four on the back of the actual mounting plate. And this is like a good place to put an external battery where here you can actually mount the small rig um, pretty much anywhere you want on your tripod. My particular use case is to actually mount my tripod so that the camera is facing horizontally. And so I'll just mount it down here and then I'll have my audio again over top. So in order to attach this to the phone, I have these little rubber mats here and then I'm just going to want to stick my phone in there and then I'm going to start twisting this uh, knob here clockwise and that's actually going to tighten up on my phone and then that's going to make the phone incredibly secure like there's no way you're going to get this guy I mean if you shake it hard enough you could probably get it out but I mean you could always tighten up these grips even tighter but like I mean this guy's going nowhere now that my phone is mounted to the small rig, I can either mount it to a tripod, but I can also use these handles here. If I want to shoot free-handed, I have a lot more control over my phone. I also don't have to worry about my stinking fingers getting in front of the lens. I'm going to draw focus to this again, but the actual mount itself is uh, removable. So if you have a larger phone, you can actually slide it back and forth. When you get it, this mounting position here will actually be centered. I would suggest moving that either um, forward or backwards. That way that you can actually mount your phone and not have to worry about the buttons being smashed, um, particularly if you have a Google Pro like I do and you have a very large phone with a lot of buttons on the side and you need a little bit more um, real estate on like this corner here, um, you're able to move this little mounting position over. Um, it does come with its own hex tools, so you're able to actually remove the screw here very easily and then just um, not lose them and then put it back in. All in all, this thing is absolutely a tank. This thing is very durable. It's pretty much an all metal construction. The only thing that's not metal on it is these little rubber pads here. If you're looking to add devices onto your phone, like if you wanna get more audio, you wanna add extra lighting, if you wanna grab and take control of your phone, they are a very powerful tool. And this small rig absolutely complements what your phone is already capable of doing.